Got it. Yes. Amas will also join. Uh, just just a minute. Hmm. Till then, anybody would like to speak? Mano or that uh, Yuraj? Have you been to a field trip to the caves? No. Okay. I have taken many time to the children there. As a teacher, yeah. I, have, I have accompanied them. So it requires too much time. Actually, there are almost uh, more than 20, uh, 20 or 30 caves almost. 30, 32 like. Yes. So, Sir, it's uh, 34 or yeah, something. 30, yeah, 34 something. So what you need, uh, you need so much time and a good guide there who can explain you each and everything. Mm -hmm. They explain you the history, they explain you how it was constructed and how many years. Even Rama and, uh, and the Mahabharata, all those epics are picturized, depicted there by uh, by carving the stones. Must have taken so many years to years, build those. Yes, I, I heard ki more than, uh, if I'm not wrong, uh, their generations have gone. Like the grandfather yeah. started, then father did, then the grandchild, like that, those generations have spent the time. Oh, From the single so... rock, they, they, they have carved all that uh, caves. Yeah. It's, it's, it looked really big in yeah, the pictures. It's very big. Wow. Yeah. Yes, and that's so, continue. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, the caves are made around, uh, I think, 500 uh, CE. And the caves usually represent, uh, I think, they represent life of Buddha. And like most of the tourists that visit the caves are Buddhist monks and many Buddhist peoples. And they were discovered by the British uh, when they were, I think, they were like looking for gold or something. And they were mm. discovered by the British in uh, 1830s, I think. And yeah, around that time they had discovered it. And after that, they had extracted. Uh, so, and um, usually, this uh, the who the people who sculpted these caves, uh, dug out these caves, were Buddhist uh, um, Buddhist people. And on the as I mentioned before, they have painted the life of Buddha and the rebirth of Buddha. Yeah. Very, very good. I would love to see that. Um, in the picture, it showed the columns, the big stone columns, long carved out columns, and at the end, a very large dome with a Buddha underneath of it. And it looked, I was just amazed. Thought, wow. And just think, they did not have electric lights back then. So does anybody know, does anyone know how they had light? to carve these things. I think they usually had done the work in the morning only, like from dawn to dusk, they used to do. And I think in the olden days, they, people usually did not construct things at night because the light was very limited. Like if, even if you use a lantern, you could only, like only a, like little, uh, only a little bit of light is being exposed to the light. Okay, so do you would the lanterns have been necessary in order to carve this, or would the outside light come in enough to carve it? My question. Uh, I don't think so. They carved the rocks at night. They yeah. usually had done it in the morning. But because... in, in, quest, so question in the daytime, does light shine into the caves? That's my question. Yeah, it does. They have actually made some like force kind of thing that sunlight comes through. Um, yeah. Okay, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I, I had no idea. So, if you were to get on a bus and go to the caves with your school, how long is the ride from your school to the caves? I think it's like one hour or thirty minutes, something. Yes, Elora. Elora is closer. Elora it takes almost yeah. one hour. But uh, Ajanta is very far. That is almost 100 kilometers away from the city. That's pretty far. Yeah. But Ajanta is uh, in a very, very good condition. Elora is a little bit uh, means uh, older. 
yeah. the maintenance work you has to be done but agenda is uh, in a very posh condition okay so which one is bigger alora or agenda thing both both i think are, agenda but, is bigger ha, but agenda is bigger i think mm, interesting huh well, that's quite something there are even some monkeys in the area say again please there are even some monkeys near the caves oh that's what i'd like to say <laughs> monkeys yay they're very mischievous though they're they're up they take people's yeah. sunglasses <laughs> they snatch anything <laughs> they usually snatch food items from your hand okay <laughs> you got to be careful and yeah if you try to resist it they, they will like try to scratch you or attack you i mean in a <laughs> less deadly way you could say just let them have it <laughs> <laughs> that's funny oh boy I'm remembering a monkey like stealing peanuts from my hands I had, like oh. those peanuts in my hand and he just came and he took it yeah they know what they want right yeah, yeah. it's so funny yeah gosh so um so do you any of you have some questions about America that you would like to ask me someplace maybe you've thought about going and uh what do you think i would like to know about the place like you said you are very close to the pacific ocean right so how does it make uh, you feel means uh, like uh, do you often visit to that place just to to see the ocean or it is just normal for you it's you know it's so big that it is never normal it is very vast and it is very beautiful and we actually can see it from our house oh. and we live on a cliff and when we look out we can see whales going oh. on their oh. northern journey from they go start in baja california and they <laughs> go to alaska in the summer because oh. alaska's waters are cold there so 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 you are on the edge of the cliff means your house is on the cliff mhm mm our house oh. is on a cliff when we see the whales they yes. are very we just see the puffs of oh. when they breathe the water sprays out of their blow holes and it's it's pretty fun to see some people see them up close mm -hmm. but it is whales are really interesting animals very interesting yeah, so lucky you are <laughs> you can see that and scene is there morning you at your place yes it's morning here and yes where we live is very windy because the water um the closest land to the west of us is Japan so the wind picks up as it goes over the water and so it blows a lot and um it gets very also the weather the ocean keeps the weather cool here so it might be warm inland but here is very cold so it's cold and windy in the summer it's nice in the winter it's very rainy so um we get used to it we just wear warm coats um we like because it's windy i think uh, we talked about the kites so we love to fly kites mm -hmm. what's yeah, the was, normal temperature there usually um our normal temperature is probably 19 degrees celsius it's good that it's summer good. Huh. and in the winter it's probably 12 degrees celsius oh very cold very cold and in the on a hot day like our hottest day would be like one of your coolest days so i'm trying to think um maybe our hottest day would be like 30 degrees celsius oh so yeah here yeah, for us it is above 40 yeah above 40 is and nowadays it it was going on above 40 yeah which That's hot. which country is uh, miss more colder is it canada or us Canada would be colder. Um, any place along the Pacific coast is, okay. is going to be warm. But as you go into the interior of the country, there's places in Canada that gets get to be negative 40. It's very, very Yeah, cold. I heard I heard minus 50. I was not able to believe. How come yeah, the people are funny. alive? Minus 50. Does it <laughs> not freeze good. their blood? Yeah, no, it doesn't. They go, um, they stay inside, and then they, when they go out, they'll put a cloth over their face oh. so they breathe because it would freeze their lungs. It absolutely would freeze their lungs. Yeah, um, this, but they uh, wear fur. I mean, like you think about the Arctic, the Eskimos, the natives that live there, yeah. they just become used to it. They're 
um yeah sometimes the when weather you... is also a very big problem sometimes what was that now sometimes the sorry. weather weather is a big problem oh and the weather has changed a lot i'm sure as um as the world has been changing one of the big problems we have here is fires okay because we've been things have been drier yeah. and warmer in, and in the so forest. canada yeah canada has a lot of fires right now yes and the smoke has been blowing into the united states and causing people to say we need to things are changing yes yeah. and nowadays i heard so many so many kind of advertisement for attracting the migrants from other part of the world to to um, canada right yes i have a nephew that dates a woman from the ukraine oh. because canada allowed her to come in as a war refugee we met oh. her okay she came with her daughter with just their suitcases that was all she was from the ukraine wanted to be out of the war and applied to four countries and canada was the only country that would take her you know yeah, so even, she's there even, even they are asking the migrants from uh, those who are in search of jobs from india pakistan bangla from different part of the world they are asking right. and they are giving them the pr the permanent residence they are giving nice so do you think it's, is it a good provision if somebody thinks to go there can we adjust oh, that, that kind of environment oh i think it's a really good provision i think that um in the people that manage to migrate with through the proper channels mm -hmm. are very well respected and i believe that's true where the united states has trouble with migrants is that the border between mexico and the united states is open so many people want a better life and yes. in mexico maybe they make 14 dollars a day for mm -hmm. very hard work and in the us they can make 14 dollars every hour oh. so you can understand the draw no to what to want to come and actually now the uh, minimum wage is probably 15 dollars an hour oh. so people can make a lot more money and if you have a profession like engineering or those sort of professions the united states is a great place because you make really good money yeah but really for teaching in other profession i don't think there is uh, very much uh, no not so much and even yes. teaching is not very well paid here yes. in comparison to maybe some of the other professions like yes. doctors and lawyers and yes. that sort of thing but i will say that i personally respect the people that come to work in our fields because the mexicans are hard hard workers and they aren't afraid to get in and work and paint houses and pick crops and do some of the things that I've noticed as I look around that there are some of the hardest workers. So I very much respect them for that. And, mm. you know, it's just, we need to work on our immigration policy, yes, I think, yes. in my opinion. Even the people yeah. who are going uh, abroad, they, they are just going for the sake of earning money for their families. Yes, so, they are. I, they I watch so many back. videos available on YouTube nowadays. And I try to get more and more information about U.S. and Canada. So I heard that many people who have gone there, some are very happy, some are still struggling, some are saying uh, rents are, uh, are high, uh, getting higher and higher day by day. Eighteen hundred dollar, I heard, is a rent oh. for one BHK there. Oh, it's so true. Even where we live, and there are no high paying jobs here, really, oh. it, unless you're a professional. But there's no industry, so there's no engineers. Oh. doctors yes make a lot of money lawyers yes but our rent the cheapest rent is around 1200 a month so how oh. do you pay that if you're working in as a waitress or as you know a, it's just hard so more oh. than half of your money goes for rent yes and people don't people think in their mind they need their own apartment they need their own house so our culture doesn't lend itself to people living together quite as much as in other places it would make sense to live together but people it's harder for us yes they just want to maintain the status like that when i was abroad i was in uh, emirat in dubai we used to share the room we four yeah. five friends it was a very very big uh, apartment we used to share the room Together we used to pay. Because when we are going abroad, we must save money. Yeah. What's the use if you are taking a very luxurious apartment and paying a whole amount of whatever we are earning? 
That is not yeah. the thing. No, it makes sense. Um, in Hawaii, it's very expensive, and the natives there, you know, they have to share apartments because they couldn't afford to live there at all. It's a very expensive place to live. So yeah. Um, what are some places that you think might be nice to <clears throat> visit in the U.S.? In the U.S., uh, like Washington, uh, especially as a capital of U.S., then actually I would like to visit all 50 states. <laughs> right. Yeah, uh, I would I, too. I've been, I counted, I've been to 28, so. Oh, Still got some more to go. It's such a big country. Yes, very big, very big country, huge. And yeah, India is a big country too. Yes, the biggest democracy in the world. Wow. So have any of the of you that are listening in, have you visited the United States? Yes, anybody? I had visited once. Yes. Yes. I visited United States. Yeah, when I was really small. Where did you go, Anna? Uh, I went. I went to visit my cousins actually uh, in Michigan. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they lived near Detroit, but they were on. I think they were on the outskirts of the Detroit. Hello. Rochester, Hello, Hills, it was. Awesome. And. Yes, we had visited the Mackinac Island where there is no vehicle. I mean, like there's no like the mechanized vehicles. Uh, like they still use horse and horse carriages in Mackinac Island and even bicycles. And there's like literally no, there's, it's a very like, uh, like whenever you visit there, you feel like you are in the, you are in the uh, 18th century. And That's in Mackinac Island, uh, yeah. And there are like many spots that is uh, has like uh, uh, many spots that has that are related to the American Revolution. Uh -huh. And yeah, and in my Island, they still fire those old cannons, which use those like you cannons, right? They still fire it once at a while in Mackin Island. And yeah, it's a great and you know, fun place. Like you won't see any vehicle over there. You will see only like bicycles and horses and horse carriages. And I think I had visited California also to once. Uh, maybe San Francisco. Yeah, San Francisco. Mm -hmm. We had visited the Golden Gate Bridge. Mm -hmm. It was like really long, long back. It's been, I think, six or seven years. Mm -hmm. maybe. Thank you. Anybody else have a trip that they would like to talk about? Yes, anyone? Hi. Speak loudly, you're not audible. Yes, ma'am. Hello? Hello, ma'am. Hi, I hear you. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Good. Is, this, is there morning at your place, ma'am? <laughs> it is morning at my place. Yes, it is. And it's, um, I am 12 and a half hours different than you. So when you start talking at 8 p.m., it's 730 in the morning at my place. So that is why I'm drinking coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so you're getting ready for bed and I'm getting ready for my day. <laughs> Nice. So, um, well, it's been really good talking with you today. I've enjoyed our conversation. Welcome to the new people. Please come again. I wanted to let you know that I'm looking for maybe some kids to join here in the United States. It would be fun for you to maybe meet some. I have a question for you. If I was able to get someone to come on Thursday morning rather than Wednesday morning, would you be able to meet Thursday afternoon? I mean, Thursday evening. Yes. Instead, I mean, of, Wednesday. In, instead of Wednesday, you want to come on Thursday. Possibly. I'll no let problem. you know next Tuesday. Yeah, we will. Okay. We will. We will add okay. it. Yes. Yeah, because my I might get I'll try to get my grandson to come. Okay. <laughs> he's okay. 13 years, he's 13 years old and he Definitely loves to talk. Yeah. 
<laughs> yes, definitely. I would like uh, some more people, even from your families, if they are interested. They, they are also most okay. welcome. We'll okay. invite them as a guest sometime. Yeah. Because here, we need somebody who is speak English. And fortunately, we got as a native speaker. So definitely, we would like to have everybody whosoever is interested. All right. So sounds wonderful. I will. I'm still recruiting. I, I would. I would consider myself more lucky if I get every day some new speaker. That that would uh -huh. be beyond that my would imagination. Be good. <laughs> All right. Super. Okay. Well, nice seeing you, and I will talk to you yes. later. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you. you good night. Good night. Okay. So I'm going to end the meeting now. The newcomers. Okay, from tomorrow onwards, uh, we will continue speaking practice. Yes, how did you feel today? Yes, sir. yes uh, your, Raj, your name is Yoraj, right? Very nice, sir. Very nice. Yeah, Viraj, Viraj, sir. Vi, vi. Viraj, okay, sorry, Viraj. So you can talk to your friends also, your relatives, if they are interested, that every day we do this practice. But uh, we gave only uh, two days for uh, ma'am because she is very busy but still she is giving us some time from tomorrow I will continue taking your practice okay at what time uh, at what time uh, same time 8, eight to 9 okay, okay sir okay so thank you so much yes okay Manav uh, I am ending the meeting Dilip sir Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, sir.